It's the Festival Derby and there's a record crowd. Round Tattenham Corner, they're thicker than flies. Heaven knows how many grandmothers are being buried this afternoon. It's the first Wednesday Derby since before the war and there must be a million turning up. From every direction, they're rolling in and rolling in, thick and fast. 25,000 cars and at least 5,000 coaches and wherever you look, everybody's busy. Money, 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 good food. Hey, I love you, Billy Club. Here, come and have that fancy old firm, hey. Come on, you know, see for a sound, it's not for a book, so come and let's go, go. See for a sound, it's not for a book, so we don't go, come and let's go, go. Let me read your hand, sir. Come along, a good, clear bond reading. Daddy, 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 daddy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Derby 1951, every newspaper is trying to tell you that it's an open race. First and foremost, there are 34 runners, and I'm going to deal with them. A gentleman has just asked me about Sun Compass. Sun Compass bred by Bonnie Ellis out of Guiding Star. Sun Compass was fifth in the 2000 Guinness. I've got a horse. I've got a horse to beat the favourite. Good old England. Roast beef. Two bags. Yorkshire pudding. Malchus boy will win the derby. <laughs> It's the same as the tote now, up to the base. Whatever the tote pays, I guarantee to pay you. Which one on the derby, which one? Seven of on the field. Are you all out of the baby? Excuse me, mate, got a butt in. Here comes the Queen, leading the royal party into the palace. The only regret on this great day is that the King is too unwell to attend. It's time for the jockeys to mount, and here goes Gordon Richards for his 26th attempt to win the one race every jockey wants to win. Princess Margaret is the Marquis of Blandford. Mr. Leon looks just right to lead in Kai Ming if he wins. Gordon is up on Stokes, just recovered after an accident. And here's Arctic Prince. The 33 runners will be off to the start soon. Favourite Kai Ming is the biggest horse in the field. Last minute bets pile on and from their box the Royal Party trains on the start. The horses are under starters orders now. There's been a little trouble, but they're in line now. <laughs> Freeze Dubois and Zucchero, Lester Pickett's mount are badly left as the field gets away in a bunch. Mystery Nine, Kai Ming and Malka's boy take up the running as they storm up the hill. There's a mile and a half to go. The going's perfect, and there'll be no excuses if the favourites don't make good. Along the top and by the bushes, it's still Mystery Nine, Kai Ming and Malka's boy well there as they top the climb. Arctic Prince is lying handy, and the French horses are well placed if they're good enough. Now they're nearing Tattenham Corner. Kai Ming's running well, but his big test is just ahead. He's a bit of a giant. Will he be able to take the sharp downhill turn in his stride? Around the corner, it's still Mystery Nine from Kai Ming. Rain check, and Arctic Prince is there. But Mystery Nine looks as though he's going on to win from pillar to post. He's the real mystery horse of the race. But he's going like a good one. But look at Arctic Prince. He's found an opening, and he's fairly flying through his field. Jockey Charlie Spears hasn't ridden in a derby before, but it looks as though he's got this one in the bag. The Irish Colt is just skating it. It's a million to one bar Arctic Prince. They'll never catch him. But there's a hectic battle for the places. There's a whole bunch with a chance. And here comes Sybil's nephew with a run to join in. But there's no doubt who's won, as Charlie's Pears drives Arctic Prince to the post with six good lengths to spare to win the richest race ever run in England. It's £19,000 for owner Joseph McGrath of Dublin. And congratulations to Charlie's Pears and Arctic Prince.